Hello everyone and welcome back to Intelligent Machines. In today's video, we are going to dive deeper into the OpenAI's Whisper model. Yes, deeper than we did in the previous video. If you haven't checked that out, I've left the link in the description below. Don't miss it. So what's the plan for today? First, we'll understand Whisper at a deeper, more practical level. Don't worry, there is no scary math involved here. Then I'll show you how to fine tune the model for a custom data set. As an example, here I'm taking an exam. Uh, here I'm taking an air traffic controller data. So why this air traffic controller data? Because this data has a unique language with terms like uh, Oscar, Kilo, Papa, Mike, which are not inherently understandable by the Whisper model. This jargon is not understandable because it was not in the uh, data set for the Whisper. So the default transcription that we'll get using transcription for this data set will not be great. For example, let me play one audio. Oscar Kilo, Papa Mike Bravo, listen to level 100. Level 100, Oscar Kilo, Papa Mike Bravo. The audio itself is also not very clear. There is a lot of noise going on here. And that's exactly what we'll fix today by fine tuning the Whisper model on this data set. Before starting the coding, I'll, I'll present in a PowerPoint all the components of Whisper model. But before that, let me, uh, I would request you go here and download the data set. So here, this particular train, uh, the first part of the train, you can just directly download here. And also the validation, the first validation. one. This too, you download here. Then I'll show in the coding section that how we can extract it, you know, uh, manipulate the data set. So you can think of Whisper as a sibling of ChatGPT. It uses an encoder and decoder structure, whereas GPT is just a decoder structure. In the encoder part, it processes the audio data converted into log mel spectrogram and the decoder generates the text token autoregressively. Autoregressive means first it uh, generates first token, then uh, this uh, English transcribe and the the will be the input and then it will generate the quick, then all this part will be input and then it will generate brown, so on and so forth. Condition of the audio comes from this cross attention uh, layers. The whisper model can be broadly divided into three components. One is a tokenizer, one is a feature extractor, and another is the model itself. So the feature extractor converts the raw audio data into log, log mail spectrograms. The tokenizer converts the text into tokens in terms of numbers, and the model processes the spectrogram and generates the transcription tokens. Using the hugging face whisper feature extractor will convert the audio into log mail spectrogram. This spectrogram is the input into the Whisper's encoder. And uh, if you visualize this, this looks something like this. Because this particular uh, waveform is of 7 second, around 7 second of uh, audio. So you see the data here also has activity until 7th seven, second. But after that, up to the 30th second, it's just padded with zeros. It is also important to note that the sampling rate of this audio, it should be 16,000 as the Whisper model is trained on data having 16,000 sampling rate. If it is more than that, so suppose say 48,000 uh, uh, is the sampling rate of the audio, then we, we have to down sample it to 16,000. Next, we have the Whisper tokenizer that the tokenizer takes a uh, English sentence or any sentence for that matter. They have a lot of language supports and uh, convert it into numbers which the machine can understand but also it adds some uh, other special tokens at the start and at the end here you see at the start there is start of transcript english transcribe the task and the and that whether timestamp is required or not and in the final we have the end of text token once we have the log mail spectrogram we pass it through the whisper model and we get the output the model outputs are token ids which we can use where here we can use the tokenizer to convert back into readable text. Here is one problem. There is one problem that the output text size is not fixed. For the USP paper, they have fixed the output size to 448. That means if it has already generated 448 tokens for 30 seconds of audio, it won't generate anymore. And this is for 30 seconds of in uh, audio because the input is fixed at uh, maximum 30 seconds. What we do is rest all like this is what we actually audio we have and after that we just pad with minus 100 and during, and this is the training part of the whisper where we pass the log, log mill spectrogram compare the output token with the actual transcription 
then we compute the cross entropy loss and according to that we update the weights of the whisper model that's it it's a very simple process now let's jump into the jupyter notebook and i'll walk you through the code step by step so first in the jupyter notebook install this required libraries these libraries are crucial for task we'll cover in the upcoming series but for now we'll focus on the data set aspect so i downloaded the data set that i showed at the starting of this video and i moved it to my working directory now we'll use the load data set from hugging face to extract it so this parakeet is the extension of the file and this is the name or the path of the file here is what the first sample looks like as this 16000 is same as the sampling rate required by whisper we do not need to do any undersampling and also the corresponding label or the text for this particular speech in this particular section i am going to import a numpy and a ipython display audio to play a, a, the first audio file so when you go to this acto asr this means uh, a traffic controller automatic speech recognition data set just a short form for that i'm taking the train part of that and the first sample from the first sample i'm going to audio and then array that means i'm taking this part this whole array that will be my uh, audio original and i'm keeping the variable original sample rate as well and then i'm printing them out i see that total i have this number of samples around uh, 117000 samples and uh, sampling rate is 16000 i'll use the audio method to play this uh, numpy array I, I pass in the audio original and the sampling rate then you get to see this this is an optional step and it is only required if your the audio data it is captured it's not same as 16000 then we have to resample in the resample the audio signal to have 16000 samples that's it this is the waveform of the data set now we come to the target for the whisper model what is going to the target that is going to be the text so for me the text for the first sample is oscar kilo papa mike bravo decent flight level 100 level 100 oscar kilo papa mike bravo that's all for that first i'm going to import the tokenizer from hugging face then i'm going to use this tokenizer to convert our text data into tokens so this is the my text raw text data this one and then i'm going to convert them into tokenizer output or the corresponding token tokens this correct tokenizer output has two uh, two parts first is the ids and then the attention mask this is how the encoded target looks like all the entire text is converted into numbers and the maximum length is set to 448 so this is the useful part up to this much and after that they serve this padded text but in the presentation that i showed that we have to convert this into minus 100 for that we are going to use this attention mask so what is this attention mask let's see so i plotted the encoded token and the attention mask they are basically of the same length the attention mask contains for what length of the input there is actual text and rest are padded so wherever you see zero those are basically garbage value and in this line of code we are going to use this attention mask and wherever the attention mask value is not equal to zero any represents not equal to 1 that means uh, this region there we are going to replace the value of encoded target with minus 100 so after running this we get this so now all the padded padding is replaced by minus 100 and now if we use this encoded target to decode using the tokenizer we get something like this startup transcript english transcript the task and the text pack in the next step we are going to extract audio feature which is going to be acting as the input for the whisper model for that we are going to use the whisper feature extractor from hugging face use this feature extractor and pass the raw audio data the raw speech or the down sampled audio that we have already the down sampled audio the sampling rate and whether we want to return as a pytorch tensor or not then we are going to take the input feature out of it and uh, this is the shape of input feature so it converted the raw audio signal into a log mel spectrogram having 80 cross 
and if I plot it, it looks something like this. So the, the maximum input length for the whisper model is 30 seconds. And as this particular audio has around 7 seconds of data, you see the activity only up to 7 seconds and the rest all are padded with C. Now we'll see how to do prediction with the whisper model. For that, first we have to import the whisper model. We are using whisper for conditional generation and we are getting the smaller small version of whisper. There are many version of whispers in the home page if you go. They have a large, medium, small, tiny. One extra thing I'm I'm doing here is after loading the model, I'm moving it to GPU for faster computation. To generate the prediction, we are going to use model.generate method. There we are going to pass our input feature, the corresponding language and the task. We are getting the output, but this is in terms of token IDs. Then we are going to convert these token IDs into text. We see that Oscar, Kilo Papa, Mike, Bravo, R, I, S, C, 100. It's very different from the actual text that uh, that is present to us, which is uh, Oscar Kilo Papa 100, 100. Yeah, it's very different. Without training, the model's prediction will not match the target text. This is because the data set's unique terminology is new for the model, which affects this accuracy. Also, I want to show some extra feature here, which will help us calculate the loss directly, the loss or the cross entropy loss. The creator of the whisper have made it easier to calculate loss instead of using model.generate we directly pass the input feature and labels to the model like here the input feature and the corresponding label and in this output we get a loss feature already we can also get the logits from there but we are going to just use the loss and then back propagate this loss through the model to update the weights if you want to go deeper and uh, get the law how to go from this logits to the actual text prediction this is the code i have written so what we do first is first we uh, get the softmax value for the logits and then get the argmax that gives us the token um, the token ids and then we just use the tokenizer dot batch decode to go from token ids back to the text space but one thing to note here is that when you write this model and give it input and label it does not specify the input uh, language or the task so that's why you see this inaccuracy that it predicted the first token to be uh, czech czech republic uh, then translate then transcribe but it's uh, it's not true it should be rather in, uh, the first one should be start of the token then english then uh, transcribe and so on and so forth this uh, little uh, discrepancy between model and model.generate you'll often see moving on uh, we would like to see the performance of this model on five diff the first five audio that we have in the this uh, air traffic controller data set and how it performs of course it's not going to be great because the model has not seen this kind of data before so let's run this one for the and we see for the first five uh, example this is the true one this is the predicted one and they're no way accurate for any cases so the next step what we are going to do we are going to just take the first sample so what i'm doing is i'm taking the idx equal to zero that means first sample from the air traffic controller data set i'm taking the target the audio signal then i'm processing this audio signal to convert into input feature which is log mail spectrogram and then i'm processing the target variable to, cre to create my labels where i'm using the attention mask uh, to replace with minus 100 now this is my uh, label and this is my input feature so then we are going to do a very uh, typical pytorch loop where first i'm setting the mode of the model in s training then i'm using an optimizer adam w for this case all i want to update all the model parameter with a learning rate of 1 to the power minus 5 10 to the power minus 5 so this is the all all we have to do we have to first get the outputs which is just the model we are pressing the input and the output as the model lives in the GPU, we have to convert this input and output into the GPU mode as well. Then in the output, we are obtaining the loss, which is output.loss. And then we are doing the loss.backward to get the gradient for all the weights, optimizer.step to update the weights. And then we are uh, clearing all the accumulated gradients. Then I'm also printing the loss because Technically, the loss should decrease. I'm only doing it for 30 
iteration. So let's do that. Yep. So at the end, I have 0.34. So let's see after you know like uh, 10 like 30 steps. After just 30 steps of training using one training data, how it performs. So yeah, it's much better. So this is uh, right now the prediction level 100 Oscar Kilo Mike Bravo. This was before. This was before you see uh, just with the uh, one sample, we got an improvement for the second one also is much better Ryanair. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a little better compared to not trained method, but of course we only used one training sample, so we cannot expect a big performance job. And yeah, so that's it for today's implementation of Whisper in Jupyter Notebook. We covered the dataset preparation, tokenization, feature extraction, and prediction. In future videos, we'll explore how to fine tune the Whisper on a lot of data. We'll use all the data that is present in this particular dataset and we'll fine tune the Whisper. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you next time on Intelligent Machines.